<laughs> according, according to my calculations, the temperature is 75.7. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the wind is 12 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> This is a story about feeling lost. It's crazy how much things can change in just a few years. I'd like to think that I've grown a lot as a person, but to be honest, sometimes I feel like it wasn't by choice. I've spent a lot of late nights overthinking every decision that I've ever made, and a lot of wasted hours just copying what everybody else is doing. As much as I don't want to admit it, it's the truth. I'm an adult now. Now, that does come with a lot of privileges, yes, but it also comes with a lot of responsibility. I have less time to work on my passions because I have to provide for myself financially. And as I'm also recently learning, I have to provide for myself mentally. And so, priorities have to be set. Looking back in the past few months, this month specifically, I can't really find a single video or project that I've done that I'm actually proud of. All of them kind of just serve as a placeholder. It's kind of just like one of those notes that you'd find lying around school that, that would say so-and-so was here. I feel like that's all my videos are doing right now. It's just saying, hey, look at me here please don't forget me while i wait for the motivation to actually create something meaningful but you see that's the thing i'm exhausted after just living life that i have no motivation so the only time i get motivated is when something really tragic happens in my life and i'm forced to say okay you know what i'm gonna prove you guys wrong which don't get me wrong, it's a great outlet, and that helps me make significant projects that I'm proud of. But they all have a negative experience connected to them. And, you know, as I start to heal, I end up just losing my motivation anyways. Okay, so this is day number three of me taking pre-workout. Um, day number one, I, I tried to put it in my water bottle and it dumped all over my car. Uh, day number two, I learned my lesson and so I tried to put it in the water bottle um, like outside my door and it left white powder all outside my car. So day number three, I made an invention. I put paper in the lid. And so let's see if it works. Last time I did this, it was all over my lap. Oh, no, we're good. It didn't actually fall on It actually worked.
sorry. I mean, come on. That one's my favorite. Would you stay like this? Never end a day in breaking up. And it goes like this. We'll get in your car and you'll need to kiss me. We'll talk for hours and lay on the backseat. Eric, say what's up. What's up? Sure. This video may have been about feeling lost, but yet in the darkest of night, I find hope, a guiding light. For though I stumble, unsure, unbound, within me, I find a truth profound. I may wander and I may roam through valleys deep and far from home. Though lost in the twists of fate, in the chaos, I still navigate. For within me, a compass true, guiding me in what I must do. I'll remember, I'll understand, I'm still here and I'm in command. Though lost I may seem to be, in the end I know I'm free. For in every step, in every sound, I know I'm found. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys liked, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You should do the outro. The outro? This is the outro to this, this month's YouTube video. And that's the and that's why the chicken crossed the road. See you next month.